Good morning, everybody. We'd like to call this meeting to order. This is the uh, Weber County Commission meeting dated uh, Tuesday, October 13th, 2019 at a few minutes after 10. We apologize for being a little late today. We got involved in some things upstairs and it's just amazing how that happens. But we're here and going right now and we welcome you all here. Our invocation today will be given by Mr. Sean Wilkinson. Is he here? I don't see him here. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, there he is. Here he goes. Uh, and the pledge of uh, the pledge of allegiance will be given by Rita Gardner, who is a sister to Gloria. Roar. Yeah. So uh, was originally Russell. The Russell girls. So these are the Russell girls. So Rita, we welcome you, and you're from Texas. Thank you. Yes. Very nice of you to be here today, and the thought of the day will be given by myself. So Sean, we'll turn time over to you. Our Father in heaven, we come before thee this morning grateful for the many blessings that we enjoy here in this beautiful place where we live. We are grateful for the freedoms that this country offers us and for those who work to protect those freedoms. We are grateful uh, <clears throat> to have the beauty that surrounds us and we are grateful for all those who uh, do their part to make this a a good place to live and a good community to be a part of. We ask for uh, thy spirit to, to be with and bless those who make important decisions in our community, that they may have the interests of all in, in mind and uh, that good may come from the decisions made and from the action that takes place uh, from those decisions. We pray that each of us may uh, have a spirit of kindness and uh, of uh, compassion as we go about doing our work and, and interacting with others. And pray that good may come of that. And we ask a special blessing on, on those who have been affected by tragedies recently uh, throughout our country and the world. And pray that we may do our part to uh, make this a a good place to be in a, a good world to live in and uh, again we thank thee for all that we have and we ask for these things in the name of Jesus Christ amen amen yeah. repeat after me please I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sean, and thank you, Mrs. Rita Link, or uh, Gardner. Uh, so my thought of the day today has to do with the fact that uh, we just finished the Weber County Fair. And for four days, we uh, were out there rubbing shoulders with uh, members of the community. And uh, I'm telling you, that was as good a fair this year as uh, I think we could have had. Uh, we look forward to the numbers. To, uh, in fact, <laughs> I see Ashton here. Do you have those numbers? Jennifer's still crunching numbers. Oh, OK. Well, anyway, we look forward to those numbers because we believe they were up. We tried several new things this year. The one that excited me the most, of course, was the Indian uh, relay, horse relay races. Uh, what a, an exciting day. My gosh, that very first race, we had three uh, young gals racing horses. And the first horse run into the second horse, and the gal on the third horse looked to see what happened to the other horses, and every one of them was on the ground uh, within about 35 or 40 feet of the starting gate. Not, none of them finished. Uh, it was a wild and crazy race. Uh, we, uh, 
I, th I thought there were positive moves made all the way. We moved the uh, horse pools to the inside arena, and I think that ended up being a very smart move. Uh, the outside arena was used all the time. The, uh, we had a storm come through that cost us a little bit of attendance on uh, Thursday. That's right. Uh, but it was, uh, it, uh, was short-lived. The evening was good, and uh, it was a great day. I just, uh, we had, uh, we invited some of our elected officials to a steak fry, which was very well attended. Uh, uh, just everybody, I, I, you know, I tried to find some negative in it, Ashton, uh, because I, I know that we didn't hit everyone on the head. There had to be some negative somewhere. But uh, as hard as I tried, I couldn't find them. Uh, others might have found some, and I'm sure here in a week we'll have a post-fair meeting to talk about it. But all in all, we couldn't see a lot of negative. It was all positive. So I'm just telling you, congratulations to you as a fair director, and certainly uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful party for the county. Uh, anyway, so that's my thought of the day. I'm very happy about it. Commissioners, anything you'd like to say, either of you, about that affair? I think you hit it right on the head. Uh, I want to give special thanks you know the the volunteers out there ashton duncan marty and jennifer did a fantastic job there they were working their tails off and uh, i'm with you i didn't hear one negative comment from anybody i've talked to uh, about uh, a bad experience so i think it was a great experience for everybody thank you for all you guys did out there you're right on commissioners both of you very much we also uh, want to bring up the fair board who yep. did a great job. You know, we had a lot of transitions since the first quarter of this year. The fair board stayed with us, did a wonderful job. And the, the businesses around Weber County, so many businesses came out Saturday to support our junior livestock program. It was heartwarming. A lot of animals that were sold. Uh, I'm looking forward to the, the, the numbers on that as well. Uh, last year, we put over $600,000 into the pockets of Weber County youth from Weber County businesses. And there's not a lot of communities that can, that can say that we support our youth to that extent, especially youth where the program is designed around teaching so many principles as it relates to, to raising animals. And so uh, the team focused on the youth, the whole fair, and I think the numbers both uh, attendance uh, gate revenue and uh, revenue from concessions will all show uh, positive on that. Thank you, Commissioner. You bet. Very good. Uh, with that, we will go to public comments. Uh, if there's those here today that would care to comment, step forward. Morning, Commissioners. Duncan. I, uh, I just wanted to take a second to, to give my thanks and my gratitude. Um, first to you, you let us try some crazy stuff this year, and hopefully we <laughs> see the successes of that, but I really appreciate you letting us try that. Um, I want to also thank all the county employees and department directors and division heads that, that allowed their employees to come out and help us. We couldn't have done it without their help. We really appreciate that. Um, and then our volunteers, both the fair board and all the community members, we just really appreciate everything that they did for us and helped put on a successful fair. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Duncan. We appreciate that. Any others who would like to address the commission this morning? Rita, now's your time to give it to us. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I came to embarrass Gage, but in front of the other Now would be the time. I don't think I will. <laughs> if you want to stand up and tell us any stories about him or any oh, of his history boy. or past, <laughs> I'm sure you could find something. I imagine. I imagine. The attorney's here, so I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much. All right, we'll go to uh, next items on the agenda. Uh, consent. Our consent items. First item is a request for approval of warrants 
1929 through 1941 and 441.799 through 442.004 in the amount of $1,162,863. Second item is request for purchase orders in the amount of $28,042.70. Item three is request for approval of minutes of July 30th. Item four is request, a request for approval of ACH payments to U.S. Bank to the tune of $212,138. Item five is a request for a retirement agreement by and between Weber County and Michael O'Donnell, McDonald. And third is a request to approve the sale of the following silver plus properties, 02013-0042 and 02013-0059. So those are uh, the consent items. Uh, Ricky, would you like to go through the uh, bills with us? Yes, thank you. Uh, happy primary election day, too, to everybody. That's right. Uh, we issued six purchase orders this week for $28,000. 47% of that amount, or $13,000, is for the Rose Department, and that's primarily for striping uh, materials. 29%, or $8,000, is for the jail, and that uh, will go towards purchasing mattresses and paper. For checks, we issued $217,000 for $1.2 million, 43% of that total amount, or $368,000. Uh, we'll pay for um, the 12th Street Utility Reconstruction Project. 25%, or $286,000, is uh, work on the outdoor pavilion at the Ogden Valley Branch. And we had a couple amounts for 7% or about $85,000. The roads uh, purchasing chipping oil and asphalt, and then the jail purchasing utilities, food maintenance, and medical services for inmates. And then 5% or $59,000 is corridor preservation funds, uh, and that went towards uh, preservation of the corridor regarding 3300 South and 2550 South projects. So, Ricky, normally we have a chance to sit and meet and talk uh, about these uh, bills and we didn't have that chance this time because of a previous another meeting we were in so there was one question I had on there and that is honing equipment for a hundred and forty thousand dollars almost you have anything on that that's yeah. not chip and oil that's something else that's a piece of equipment yes hold on one second let me look here How do you spell Honan? H O N H O N N E N. Oh, you're probably looking at the purchase orders, aren't you? No. Hold on. No, it's not. I can't find it on here. Make sure you have the right week. You know. Is that a purchase order? Yeah, last Ricky. Week. Uh, this didn't come up on my computer, right? So I'm actually looking at last week. Okay. So so that's why you can't find it. Right. I believe that was the loader last week. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the loader was last the loader. week. I see that now. That drives me nuts on this computer. It doesn't come up the way it's supposed to. Okay, uh, are there any other questions on invoices? Let me just, I'll try to find it. I didn't see any of the paper anything? stock that was sent from. Do you have anything? Yeah, I have. Question, I think I know the answer. Um, the Saunders construction is about 250,000. I'm assuming that was Ogden Valley Library. Uh, let's pull that up. $250,000, let's see, yeah. It's I believe it is. Improvements. Yeah, yeah, I believe uh, it is. Saunders is the Upper Valley Library. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was my only question. And then the warrant report, one moment. 
Uh, just a second. You ready for a motion on this or on the warrants i am the uh, two surplus pieces of property we didn't have a chance to go over either those yeah. those two pieces that were given the uh weaver Canada, weaver housing authority that's my understanding uh, yeah. these are two very small slivers of property um sorry yeah yeah they're they're two small slivers of property that are in backyards of several several oh. different property owners who've agreed to purchase them as a group oh okay We didn't have a chance to go down and go through those, and I just assumed those is what the, that is what those were. Very good. So I am ready for a motion. Mr. Chair, I'd move to approve the consent items, agenda item F. Move to approve. Motion. Second. I have a motion and a second uh, to approve item F, consent items. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. So that's unanimous. Very good. Next item on the uh, agenda is action items G, request for approval to ratify contract by between Weber County and Weber County Sheriff. Mounted posse. Ashton, you're up today, huh? Yes, sir. So um, this is between the Weber County Mounted Sheriff's Posse, and it is uh, for $4,000, and they manned our parking lots during the fair. Um, did a great job. I didn't hear any complaints about it, so I would just like to request your guys' approval. Very good. Commissioners, any questions on this? They did a wonderful job. Uh, we had, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the parking on Saturday? So that is the only number that we do kind of have an idea of. We had um, last year's attendance was just over 11,000 and this year we are just over 20,000. So the parking was a bit of an issue so they did a really good job um, planning and coordinating as well as the sheriff's office they were a big help so we kind of let a little bit of the overflow go into the bdo so we had to open that gate that's typically closed um, and then there's an a west portion of that lot that we opened up as well to let people flow into so it's been a long time since we've had so many cars here we had to go into overflow parking right Yes, yeah, a good problem to have. Good problem to have. Great. Commissioners? Yeah, I saw the horses out there I th one of the nights when I was leaving. It looked like they were doing a good job. But, uh, my only question, why, or how come we're doing this after the fact rather than before? I had a hard time uh, getting the contract back for them. Okay. So, yes, that was the, there will be a couple next week, too, that I just had a hard time getting them to return the contract to me. Okay, great, no problem. No, I, I think that they did a good job out there. And boy, the, the times I was leaving, there was a line of cars all the way coming up that it was definitely a little congested. Yes, we heard that, but from the time they were at Toads to get to our facility, it took them an hour. So, really? yes, we had people backed up Gosh. to the freeway. Really? Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that road's not real conducive for a lot of cars to turn in there. And then for the people that are leaving, it becomes even worse. But Well, and there's another point that the, the staff needs to... There was a, a point before the fair for months that F Marriott Slaterville was going to cut across at 1200 West, and so we wouldn't have had access from 400 yeah so it could have been a lot worse they they mitigated a lot of problems in what we're hearing even with what happened but uh they're going to open that road up though right away so we're going to it's going to be a mess there they're doing about a year construction on that uh, 1200 yes, marriott west. slaterville was was amazing to kind of help us out in that aspect because if that road had been shut down we would have had a really 
big nightmare on our hands. So Marriott Slaterville, the Sheriff's Department, Mounted Sheriff's Posse were all all part of this and helped us get it worked out. Great. Mr. Very Chair. Good. Uh, go ahead. I'll make a motion that we ratify the contract by between Weber County and the Weber County Sheriff's Mounted Posse for parking at the fair. Second. Motion is second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. It is ratified. Thanks, Ashton. We Thanks, Ashton. You. We appreciate your efforts. You did a really good job this year. Second uh, item two is a, a request for an approval of a memorandum of understanding buying between Weber County and the Utah Recreation Company for the collection of various fees applying to you. Brandon Roundy. Hello. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, this Good morning. This uh, memorandum of understanding that I'm presenting to you today is between uh, Weber County Sheriff's Office and Utah Recreations Company. Uh, they are the concessioner contract with the Forest Service for the coordination of the campgrounds, boat launching, recreational operation, and the property within the forest area jurisdiction. Uh, and this is particularly to the Pine View Reservoir. And its purpose is to provide the revenues collected from the fees that they collect to provide law enforcement services on the Pine View Reservoir. And it really has two components. Uh, the boat launch fee is the first component, uh, and it's very similar to the previous memorandum that we had with the previous concessioner. Uh, and it's they, the Utah Recreation Company collects one dollar fee per boat launched, or collects a fee per boat launched on Pine View, and they agree to pay the sheriff's office one dollar per boat launch towards law enforcement services. There's also a, a, in addition to that, they'll pay eight thousand dollars per year uh, on top of that towards services, but there is a cap of twenty five thousand dollars for that first component. Uh, the second component, there was uh, the anchor permit fee. We never really had a formal agreement with the previous concessioner. Uh, we do have one with the Utah Recreation Company now. Uh, and it's to charge an anchor permit fee for overnight watercraft usage on Pine View Reservoir. And we have agreed uh, with Utah Recreation Company that they collect 16% of, of that overall fee and provide 84% to the Sheriff's Office for law enforcement purposes. Uh, all the monies paid by the Utah Recreation Company for the Sheriff's Office are to be used for man hour cost, equipment, and supplies to enhance the enforcement and community service effort provided by the Sheriff's Office on and around Pine View Reservoir. Uh, the contract can be terminated anytime on 90 days written notice, and it also automatically terminates if Utah Recreation Company uh, is no longer contracted by the Forest Service as a concessioner. And it's for five years. It actually started back in May. We had a little bit of uh, some terminology in the contract we had to work out, uh, but uh, Utah Recreation Company has been honoring it since they started in May. So could you explain to us so the folks listening, Brandon, can uh, uh, understand what an anchor permit fee is? Yes, the anchor permit fee is a, it's a fee so that they can anchor their boats on the reservoir, and it's not a mooring fee. In fact, we had one problem where somebody was mooring their boat and leaving it there for extended periods of time. But it's so that they can go out and enjoy the, the lake after hours. And that anchor permit fee allows our enforcement to be able to work those additional hours. Uh, it's actually a great tool for law enforcement to make sure public order and, and that's out there on the reservoir. It's been very effective in keeping stereos down so it doesn't affect Huntsville. Uh, because if they get that, that anchor permit revoked, then they can't go out there and enjoy the lake in the after hours times. Uh, and so they're, they're pretty compliant with that, turning, keeping their radios down and keeping Huntsville uh, so that they're not being disturbed. That's great. As I understand, this actually allows them to spend the night on the water. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of a new thing up there. I think it's pretty cool, actually, they can do this. Yes. Commissioners, any questions? Yeah, a question for Chief, if I could. Yes, sir. So uh, I had a couple of people talk to me last week or so about boy, boat noise after 10 o'clock at night. Um, I, didn't we have, don't we have something in place that says they need to uh, be under control by 10 o'clock or at least be anchored or what's, and then is there any enforcements? Actually, a couple of people that live near the lake said that they wait till the, till you guys are gone and then they crank it up and turn on the speakers and race around the lake and do you have any input on that yeah so right now our deputies were they'll stay out there till midnight and then if they need to come back out there for those disturbances we can have them come back out and handle those uh, and what we can do is if it's a continued problem we'll know who's on the lake 
incur those permit fees, uh, we can actually re revoke their permit and they can't get another one. Okay. So we can enforce those, but we just need to be made aware of those. And yeah, I believe it's after 10 o'clock. I'd have to review the county ordinance to see exactly the specifics when the quiet time is. But if it's um, with the, the campgrounds and that's typically 10 o'clock. Okay, so if, they, so we can if this comes that. up again, I'll just tell the individuals up there to get uh, get some type of ID on the boat and we can handle it. Yeah, if they just call that in, we'll have deputies respond up there, jump on a boat and go go handle it. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Harvey. Commissioner, I know up until this last year when you said you were working through the contract with the Utah Recreation Company that the Forest Service over the last several years had contracted with ALNL, a different service provider. So this uh, represents a lot of great work between a new provider uh, that takes care of that and a lot of facets in Weber County. And so uh, we'll continue to work with, with all the different jurisdictions that have to do with Pine View. And I think we're moving forward. I think we're a lot better place than we were two or three years ago with some of the other things that we've done up there. And, and I, I appreciate you having uh, service up there till midnight. That's it. That's good. I've heard from quite a few. I hadn't heard the recent complaints, but this in fact's in your backyard, Commissioner. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of good things happening or, or a marked difference uh, with the work we're doing. So I, uh, uh, Commission Chair, I'm very much in favor of this contract. Good. I want to mention that uh, I know that your uh, sheriffs are out because uh, in our meetings this morning they were talking about somebody getting picked up by him on the dam. So uh, they are there and they're doing their job. Well, very good. Uh, I'm open for a motion. Mr. Chair, I'd move to approve the MOU between Weber County, Utah, and Recreation Company for the collection of the fees at Pine View Reservoir as presented by Chief Roundy this morning. Second that with a question. Does that need to be a, Matt, is that a ratification because the contract would have started back in May or could we just go with what we've got here? Um, you can backdate the, the contract so you can go with what we've got here. Thank you. Second, then no problem. Okay. I have a motion and a second for item G2, which is the MOU between Weber County and Sheriff and the uh, Utah Recreation Company. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motions? Uh, approved. Thanks. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, Thanks, Brandon. Surrounding. We appreciate it. Next item up is a request for approval uh, of a first reading of an ordinance of the Board of the County Commissioners of Weber County amending Weber County Fee Ordinance, Title 16, Chapter 2, Section 12, and the Surveyor Fee. Devron Anderson. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. morning. Thank morning. you for giving me a moment of your time to present this in your meeting today. Um, as you all know, our state laws regarding county surveyor's office were amended by the legislature this year, which was a great benefit to us and fantastic uh, actually for us to be able to move forward. And thank you guys for all the help you gave in me and the county surveyor's group in moving that legislation forward. Um, as a result of that legislation being passed, we had a number of items in our local ordinance that was no longer in compliance or no longer in line with what uh, the state law required. So these, uh, this agenda item and the one following it are just um, some technical um, corrections that we made mostly to get our local ordinance in line with the state code. Um, this particular item, we we worked, the county surveyor's office worked with the Property Rights Coalition and did some negotiation there where uh, actual the fees for this kind of work was set um, at the state level, so we are amending our fees to come in, in line with those. Questions, commissioners? No. See none. So uh, why don't you address this second one while you're up so we can talk about it too. Is it the same thing? Yeah, the uh, the next agenda item is for our local ordinance. It's the same thing. We adopted a lot of um, uh, definitions and made a lot of references to the state code to kind of bring our ordinance in compliance and in line with what we did down at the legislature, which took effect on April 19th. So, All right. Commissioners, I'm ready for a motion. Let me just ask one question, yeah, if I could, Mr. Chair. So, Deron, just so I'm... Um, 
on board 100% with, you know, and we've talked about this before. So does this get us to the space that we need to so you have more control with uh, developments when they take place as far as relocation of these monuments and uh, the, a fee established to ensure that they uh, are careful with the uh, construction during the monument or during the construction phase is that what this is about too yep that's what this is about we um we used to charge a different fee for right. a different process and when we went through this with the state uh, and we all kind of got on the same page all the county surveyor's office and with the property rights coalition so yeah we're we're doing more work than we used to in this process but we're charging additional fees for that and yep this is exactly what that's for okay so you think it's going to help protect these monuments absolutely yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You bet. Uh, Mr. Chair, yeah. if you'll recognize the motion, I'll make the motion that we we approve the first reading of the ordinance, uh, Title 16, Chapter 2, Section 12. Very good. Motion is uh, for the approval of G3, which is the first reading of the ordinance. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That's approved. Commissioner Harvey, why don't you keep going? Thanks. I'll make a motion there. Then if we, we approve the first reading of the ordinance, the Board of County Commissioners amending the Surveying and Survey Monument Ordinance, or Title 45. Wait, uh, second? Second. Any question, either of you? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That's approved. All right, Devon, keep going. You got one more. All right. This next agenda item is a contract um, that we have... Uh, talked about for a long time with the commissioners and we've been allowed this year to pursue a contract to have a a professional licensed contractor to actually build monuments for us particularly the monuments that fall in in the roads um, we have lots of monuments that fall in county roads state roads city roads and rather than having our guys go out there and and uh, do that work uh, we'd like to take and focus our attention on the survey activities that we need to do and uh, we felt like it was a better use of county funds to contract this work out to a contractor that whose uh, job is to construct these types of things and do it in a professional manner, probably much better than we could do ourselves. So, so do you uh, oversee the uh, setting of those monuments so to make sure they're in the right place? Yes, we do. We're intimately involved with the contractor. There's three different times that we go back and forth between us and the contractor and make sure they're done correctly and and that they meet our specifications commissioners any questions no you ready for a motion uh -huh. mr chair i'd move to approve the contract between weber county and centerline development llc for the construction to build various survey monuments is located and directed by the weber county surveyor's office second I have a motion a second all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed it's approved. Thanks, Thank Devin. We appreciate your uh, work in these. Item six is a request for approval to ratify a contract by between Weber County and the town of, town of Huntsville for the collection and reimbursement of funds by Base Camp. Holland Wilbanks. Hi, thanks for hearing this today. So I really appreciate Chief Deputy Roundy here today. He's pretty much connecting this, the dots between some of the contracts that need to be finalized on the Sheriff's Department as we have made major changes up at Pineview. This is just one of those. So if you don't mind, I'll go back just a little bit. Um, about three years ago, we started putting up no parking signs along the Pelican Beach area to provide um, a safer area and try to encourage people to park in the parking areas versus along the road. Um, secondary, we did um, enforce the anchor permit, which required people to purchase a permit to stay on the reservoir overnight, which provided a funding stream so that we could provide law enforcement overnight. Um, beyond that, we've worked closely with the Forest Service so that we can, um, we built a, a restricted fund, and you guys approved this, and I really appreciate that as looking forward, any fees that we collect, those fees will go into this restricted fund. Um, any fees, I'm sorry, um, collected around Pine View or Causey area will go into this restricted fund. These funds go directly back into improvements in the Pine View and Causey area. Um, this, uh, today, the interlocal agreement that we're uh, approving today is our agreement with Huntsville. So Weber County collects $3 for at all the boat launches, which would be Cemetery, Port, Cemetery uh, Ramp, Anderson Cove, and Port Ramp. 
Um, those $3 at Port Ramp and Anderson Cove go directly back into the coffers of that restricted account for Weber County to put improvements back into Pineview and Causey area. The $3 at Cemetery Point go directly back to Huntsville Town. We will collect those funds on behalf of them and reimburse them back to Huntsville Town. So this agreement is that we will collect those funds and reimburse them back to Huntsville. So we are essentially acting as a pass-through for Huntsville on those funds collected. Commissioners, any questions on that? Yeah, Holland, remind me again, what fee are we paying? Because we don't get the full $3. We're paying a fee for them to collect it, for the vendor to collect it, correct? Yeah, there is a percentage that the vendor collects overall. So that, that percentage will come off. It's a 16% fee. That will come off over the top, and then we will uh, disperse the funds appropriately after that, that fee is collected. And Huntsville's okay with that? I know at one time they weren't real happy with they're okay with that. If you look at the terms of this agreement, it is just through this season so that re we can renegotiate possibly that term depending on the amount of funds that we collect this year. Got it. Okay. All right. I'm ready for a motion if you are. I'll uh, make a motion, Commissioner. This is yeah, wonderful. Harvey. I'll make a motion that we ratify the contract between Weber County and the town of Huntsville for the collection and reimbursement of funds collected by Base Camp. Very good. I have a motion. Second. And a second. All in favor say aye. 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 That's been approved. Thanks, Holland. Thank we you. appreciate you presenting today. Thanks. Item seven is a request for an approval of a tire lease agreement with Verizon Wireless. Sean Wilkinson. This has actually been going for a while, hasn't it? This this has been going for a little while, yes. Commissioners, Verizon Wireless has approached the county about leasing some tower space as well as a small ground lease area. Uh, at the property we have just uh, on the hill in Eden, just above Snowflake subdivision. So there's access from Powder Mountain Road. It's a dirt road that goes up to that facility. That's uh, also where the Sheriff's Office has some of their communication equipment. And uh, the Ogden Valley Translator District has their equipment as well. So we have a, an existing tower there. Verizon Wireless will co-locate their communication equipment on the tower. It will also add a 20 foot tall extension onto that tower to help with their, uh, their cell phone signal. Um, Verizon Wireless will pay us $18,000 annually, so, so it's $1,500 a month. <clears throat> now in the past, the county agreed with the former landowner, uh, who was Eden Heights LLC, so they will receive 35% of the revenue that we obtain from Verizon Wireless. So we received the property from Eden Heights LLC a few, year, a few years ago, but in exchange for that property, we were required to give them that 35% cut of uh, any revenue we receive from the tower. And how long is that? That required? goes for a period of 25 years with Eden Heights. So, but the, with Verizon Wireless, um, the, the initial agreement runs for five years with two uh, additional five-year terms that Verizon Wireless can opt out of, but the county cannot, with a total of up to four additional five-year terms. So this could go for potentially 25 years as well with Verizon Wireless. So on the tower, how, of that 25 years, how much of that expired, you know? Uh, that happened in 2017, so two years have expired. Two years. Yes. Very good. Commissioners, questions? No, I'd like a little, I got a little something on this. Go ahead. So, you know, you can spend a couple of years building the house, putting the footing down and the foundation and building the house, but nothing happens until the house is sold. The family can't <laughs> move in and enjoy it until the house is sold and you get the money. And I, I wanted to compliment Commissioner Frohr, who this is in his portfolio, also John Bond in the attorney's <coughs> office, and you guys, Sean, because you've got, now you've got a new revenue source for Weber County. We've done a lot of work over the last two years on this, but we needed to sell the house, and now we've got the revenue source coming in. And so that's wonderful news. I'm really, really happy about this, and I, I compliment uh, all those involved uh, in getting that done. So with that, uh, Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion that we approve this tower lease between Weber County and Verizon Wireless. 
Second. I have a motion and a second, and I agree with that. This is good news. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? It's approved. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Sean. Item 8 is request for consideration and an action to, uh, on a request to dedicate to Weber County an area fronting Taylor Anderson subdivision. Felix Leverino. Yes. How are you, Felix? Thank you, Commissioners. Hello, yeah. Felix. It, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, guys, and I, I do appreciate the time that you take to review these and, and make these decisions. Uh, I just wanted to make a personal note. Uh, my family and I went had a chance to go to the, the county fair on Thursday night. The, the rain didn't scare us off, so along with a lot of people, we were there enjoying it. It's, it's a nice opportunity for kids to get out and uh, us city kids to see uh, what the country's like. So. <laughs> well, it, it was. It's always a lot of fun. We go every year. So, oh, great. Um, so going on to today's item. So what we have before you is, is a is a is a proposal to dedicate area to 6700 West Street out in Western Weber. Last week we held an administrative meeting to review the subdivision after the after the development showed that it meets land use and zoning requirements, and so. Um, that's kind of why we're here today, just for for your for the commission to um, basically uh, approve this this roadway dedication area for the, for the right of way. And uh, so, with that, I, if, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Commissioners, any questions? You're recommending that we approve this, correct? That's correct. Yes. This is just the road dedication. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, enough to make a motion. I would move to approve the. Action to dedicate uh, area fronting Taylor Anderson subdivision as presented uh, today on agenda item G8. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Very good. It passes. Thanks, Felix. We so appreciate just that. a side note now that yes. this is passed, yes, Commissioner Frohr, Commissioner Jenkins, it was Taylor Anderson. Uh, was the gentleman who was the uh, at the auction that took your money when you guys were bidding those lambs and those hogs right. up? He was the one. Who, he's the one that uh, put That's you right. on the hook. So I didn't want to. He was, well, wasn't the auctioneer, but he was the guy. He was one of the ring stewards out there. Yeah, ring stewards. yeah I try. It. I agree. So I just didn't want to have anything before the vote uh, in case they bumped your your bid price up a little. Okay, item H. We just wanted to public mention, mention publicly, that our next meeting, August 20th of this month uh, and year, will be uh, held, our next commission meeting will be held at 6 p.m. at the North Ogden City offices. We've uh, got on this uh, deal where we're trying to go around quarterly to different areas and hold our uh, county commission meetings. So, uh, they can be attended in the evening. So many times uh, in the morning, people can't get here to attend the meeting. So we thought we'd give them some options. And uh, even though the law requires us to meet in the county seat and here, uh, we felt like uh, we were within our rights to move this around occasionally. So we've done that. So anyway, with that, uh, be aware of that. Uh, commissioners, would you like to comment on anything today? Well, I'm looking forward to the North Ogden meeting, and I'm sure Mr. Burns in the back of the room, that'll save him a little travel time and maybe give him something to do during the day rather than come here to these boring meetings, so. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh, and good luck, by the way. We'll know, we'll know here by the end of the day where you sit. That's all I've got. I agree. Good luck. Mr. Harvey, any comment? You're happy, huh? <laughs> well, that's good. Very good. All the uh, motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned.